Choose your fighter. Lightning inspired. Fight. Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest build of Pixel Experience based on Android 10 on this device and this is the 22nd September 2019 build of this ROM and yes it did receive like almost if you total it there is three updates there is right now three builds the first build had bugs with the like youtube app and stuff if you watch any full screen videos and in landscape mode when you go you will see the half black screen stuff so that bug was there yesterday there was an update too and for the 21st september update there was some bugs like with the battery percentage and stuff right now everything is fixed and with that we have almost a perfect rom right here so what are the things which have been fixed and how this rom is working let me show you in today's video so if you go into the settings as you can see if you go into about phone and i'm using the gesture still and android version of course the android version still shows up as android 10 as you can see you can move around this stuff and september 5th 2019 security patch we have the latest one then we have google play system update as 10 then the stock kernel is still pixel plus and the build number shows as the 22nd like September 2019 beta build of course let me go back and if you go into system and I have enabled the developer options over here which I'll show you later on but there is system updates option but the official developer does not recommend using it so I won't do if you are really into updating this ROM I would say just download the latest build then go into your TWRP by holding the volume up and the power button together. So once you go into your TWRP recovery, make sure you flash the latest build of this ROM. Just like you don't have to wipe anything, just like flash the latest build. Then on top of that, flash the fcrypt disabler file and then you can wipe cache and dalvik then reboot or you can even like reboot normally. So that's how it is. And if you go into gestures, of course, we have this normal Android 10 kind of gesture which works flawlessly and you can get the two button or the pie navigation then you get the audio navigation over here or like nougat navigation over here inside display settings let me show you still there is the dark theme and night light still does work as you can see so it works no issues whatsoever double tap to wake works too but there is no double tap to sleep or any customizations at all but you can change the dark like ui theme to dark as you can see dark theme option is there but if you want to change the accent colors over here which is currently blue if you are noticing this and if you want to change that you have to enable the developer option how do you do that go to about phone then like tap on this build number seven times once you have done that you will get the like developer options inside system which looks like this and go to this developer option and scroll all the way down then you will find this accent color and you can just tap on it and choose anything like green and as you can see it did change over here and if i right now look at the quick toggles it shows as green you can change it to like whatever color you need you have ocean space orchid purple etc i'll choose it to default that like you can do this like go to this default usb preference then select this file transfer it will help whenever you connect it to your pc it's gonna be like opening your like storage on the pc so that's how it is but in the developer options what i could not find is like the advanced reboot stuff is simply not there as you can see this is how the power menu looks like pretty simplistic over here i would say let me go back and gboard of course default keyboard as this is pixel experience and if you go into security let me show you so inside smart lock you do not get any trusted face over here that's a bummer but yeah quite early on android 10 we gotta face these things no face unlock right now like in this device at least on this build so let me go back quickly from here and digital well-being yes it is there as you can see you can have this like parental control and stuff digital well-being works flawlessly over here it shows the status and, and stuff and battery settings are there and the battery percentage and stuff you can enable it from here i if you don't know how to flash this rom i have shown everything in this video please follow that video if you want to flash this rom on redmi note 7 pro and one more thing let me talk about it i'm using a google camera over here and it is working fine as you can see it does processes the picture like pretty much fine no issues but do make sure you are using this particular google camera i'll link it below and to get everything working with the google camera you gotta go to more then go to settings and scroll all the way down go to about 
then enable this advanced mode so once you have enabled that let me show you that you will get these kind of like these many options then go to this back camera and select pixel 3 axl then from the nr model select this imx5860 that's how you will get like great picture quality and this pixel aw mode is set to imx586 by default so yeah it's working fine no issues whatsoever i did not have to change any saturation stuff night sight and stuff is working fine too over here no issues with the google camera i did try to flash anx camera it did not work and i did flash the 48 megapixel fix to which like totally disabled the camera and disabled my torch over here which is working fine because i did flash the 48 megapixel fix one more time so that it removed itself and that's how i get like everything working right now over here and talking about banking apps well let me tell you that i did set up google pay but like somehow it works i don't know but google pay setup is working fine but whenever i am trying to like pay someone or trying to go through a payment it's kind of like worse stuck in the like location service kind of thing i did try it on the previous builds it like did not work the payment did not go through but on the latest build i did not try it yet so i can't confirm but the setup of google pay does work super fine no issues whatsoever now one more thing this me calculator is simply not working this was the same case when there was the early stage of android pie i remember so me calculator is simply not working right now over here and talking about pubg let me show you so as you can see pubg works on the full screen there is no like kind of black border over here you can play on smooth and ultra settings then you can go balanced and ultra or you can go hd and high so we get almost every settings which we get in miui so that is great that we can still play smooth and ultra settings in pubg and here is the enter to score of this rom one plus point here that you still have the drm info level one wide band certificate so you can still stream on 1080p or full hd i think but I could not test it since I do not have an account of Amazon Prime or Netflix. So yeah, you guys test it and let me know in the comments. Now let me show you by opening some apps and like how is the app of speeds and the RAM management over here. Take a look at the animations over here. It's pretty fine. The animations like app opening up animations are pretty smooth I would say. Now I'm opening all the apps from memory again. So as you can see, the app open up animations are pretty fine. You can switch between apps just like this. This is a pretty cool like app switching method I would say of Android 10 and it gets the job done. But if you want to really go to the recent apps panel, you can just tap and like swipe up and hold it and you will get this kind of like recent panel over here. And you can swipe all the way up right now from here to get to the app drawer. But from Android 9 to Android 10, I would say one thing I miss that I can't really do this to get the app drawer directly. So that's what I miss over here to be honest. But otherwise this ROM is working fine. Everything is pretty smooth. Volte calling does work flawlessly. No issues whatsoever. But there is no Volte icon of course as you can see. No Volte icon is present by default. No call recording option as this is the pixel experience ROM. So we do not get any customizations those kind of so i would say this rom is pretty good if you want to really try stock android android 10 on this redmi note 7 pro this is a pretty great time to try it so let me know in the comments what do you guys think and here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this rom let me show you it's quite fast as you can see so the fingerprint scanner speed i would say is pretty decent it's not bad at all it's quite fast when compared to even other custom ROMs. And the daily driving performance in my opinion is pretty great and all the animations of Android 10 is pretty dope. Some of you may say that it's not that great from Android Pie but I would say it's pretty decent upgrade of like Android 9 to Android 10. That's how just I feel over here and if you are connected to a Bluetooth device or something. So one great thing that I found that if you tap in the settings you will get the bluetooth device option over here which like from where you can change the default audio of this device to your like device speaker or the bluetooth device so that is one great thing right now i am not connected so it does not show up but whenever you are connected to bluetooth uh, row show up like this 
so that is really great and one more thing that you can control the media call ring and alarm volume from here that makes this a really great feature too and currently if you are wondering if the full screen bug of youtube got fixed yes it did get fixed as you can see from the screen i'm playing a youtube video over here and the full screen is working fine there is no black borders and i can just go back like this as you can see so this makes it really great that like this works flawlessly as you can see and the screen does not go half screen or something you can again go to full screen and it does work pretty fine now one thing that i like about these gestures of android 10 if you go back like this as you can see you see the black kind of back button or the back gesture stuff over here but if i go back from here it shows white because the background of this part of the screen is dark and if you move around your finger it moves around a little bit so this is just great that like it changes the colors depending on the situation of the background so that is really great these minor things are really great and it did impress me and i am really really liking this unlocking animation over here if you look at this lock icon and if i tap the female scanner the unlocking animation looks pretty dope and even from the lock screen i did show it earlier but let me show it again if you swipe up from these corners you will get google assistant so that is just great as you can see what's the weather like so as you can see you can access your google assistant even without unlocking this phone so that is how it is guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one Bye-bye now. You.